Lady Gaga was overcome with emotion as she took to the stage for the second time on Sunday to accept her second Critics Choice Award. The singer and actress tied with Glenn Close to take home the Best Actress Award for A Star Is Born. Close, who won the award for her role in The Wife, made her speech and stayed on stage while Gaga's name was read as the joint winner. Gaga, who lost out in the category at the Golden Globes earlier this month, burst into tears as soon as her name was announced and gave tearful speech dedicating her award to all people who have suffered from alcoholism or addiction. My mother and Glenn are good friends, I'm so very happy you won this evening, Gaga began. I am so honored by this. I went to places in my mind and my heart that I did not know existed. Gaga thanked her fiancé Christian Carino, as she continued, Thank you Christian, my love. Bradley, you are a magical filmmaker. And you are just as magical of a human being. I have never had an experience with a director or an actor like I had with you. You seamlessly were both the love of my life and a man behind the camera. As the music started playing to tell her she'd gone beyond her allotted time, Gaga quipped, It's okay I can still do this with a piano background. In her speech, Close, 71, said, I am so thrilled at I exclamation mark. The world pits us against each other in this profession. And I know, from the other women in this category, we celebrate each other and we are proud to be in this room together. It was the second tie of the evening with Amy Adams, Sharp Objects, and Patricia Arquette, Escape at Danamora, both scooping Best Actress in Best Movie Made for TV or Limited Series. Gog earlier scooped the Critics' Choice Award for Best Song for her track Shallow from the A Star Is Born soundtrack. The singer, who also stars in Bradley Cooper-directed movie, beat out competition from the likes of Kendrick Lamar's All the Stars for Black Panther and The Place Where Lost Things Go, for Mary Poppins Returns. This means the world to us, I'll never forget playing it for Bradley for the first time and seeing his face light up and then singing and live for him, take after take, I was mesmerized, Gaga, 32, gushed on stage. This song is a conversation between men and women asking each other questions about life and the shallowness of the modern era. I'm so happy it resonated for you. The Best Picture Award went to black and white Netflix drama Roma with Alfonso Cuaron also winning in the Best Director and Best Cinematography Gong. Roma also won Best Foreign Language Film. Accepting the Best Picture Award Cuaron gestured to the cast and producers behind him and said, this bunch of Mexicans are not as bad as sometimes they are portrayed. He also thanked Netflix for bringing this film to the people in the mainstream. Best Actor went to Christian Bale for Vice, his second win of the evening after nabbing the Best Actor in a Comedy Award. I've always admired people who are willing to make a fool of themselves and that's what I think acting is all about. Embracing humiliation, that's what it's all about. I've enjoyed it so much. When you can only do one thing in your life it's great to be recognized for it he told the audience. Hosted by Tay Diggs and presented by the Broadcast Film Critics Association and the Broadcast Television Journalists Association, the awards aired Sunday evening from Santa Monica, Los Angeles. At the beginning of the evening rising star Elsie Fisher went home with the award for Best Young Actor slash Actress for her role in 8th grade. Maharshala Ali took home Best Supporting Actor for his part in Green Book while Regina King won Best Supporting Actress for If Beale Street Could Talk. In her emotional speech King thanked her family and God and quoted James Baldwin, saying, We can make America what America must become. Scooping the award for Best Sci-Fi Slash Horror Movie was The Quiet Place. Writer Director and star of the movie John Krasinski accepted the award gushing of wife and co-star Emily Blunt I got to do it with the love of my life by my side. Claire Foy was honored with the hashtag see her award, presented to her by Viola Davis who won the first award two years ago. In preparation for this evening I watched Viola when she received awards. Don't ever do that. You end up watching five hours of acceptance speeches and realize how eloquent and profound Viola is. She began her speech. The Crown star concluded her monologue saying, I accept this award as encouragement to myself, to hopefully be brave enough to see myself and hopefully understand and see others, 
and help others to see themselves. The favorite beat out Crazy Rich Asians, Black Panther and Vice to win Best Acting Ensemble but unfortunately none of the stars were there to accept the award. Darren Criss took home the award for Best Actor in a Movie Made for Television or Limited Series for his role in FX's The Assassination of Gianni Versace, American Crime Story. In the Best Actress category critics couldn't decide on one winner, so declared a tie between Amy Adams for Sharp Objects and Patricia Arquette for Escape at Denim Aura. The favorite star Olivia Colman was honored with Best Actress in a Comedy but wasn't present to accept her award so presenter Ben Stiller hilariously tried his best to come up with a speech in the British actress' absence. Stiller joked that he was sure Colman would want to thank the crew and cast and those bunnies she had such a great relationship with. Christian Bale took the award for Best Actor in a Comedy for Vice. When on stage he joked, I guess we've been put in a comedy haven't we? It's really a tragedy. For Best Comedy, Crazy Rich Asians beat out strong competition from Deadpool 2, The Favorite, Game Night, Sorry to Bother You and The Death of Stalin. In her acceptance speech producer Nina Jacobson recalled when she started in the business her bosses told her that white men can't be counted on to identify with anyone who doesn't look or live like they do. You don't have to be crazy rich or Asian to relate, but you have to be Asian to star in it, she said, adding, representation is power. Chuck Lorre, who was honored with this year's Creative Achievement winner, said in his speech, for the last 25 years, with few exceptions, you have consistently chided and castigated me, and pointed out where my instincts are wrong. I guess this means you give up. Bill Hader was awarded Best Actor in a Comedy Series for Barry while Rachel Brosnahan took the Best Actress Award for series The Marvelous Mrs. Meisel. Brosnahan said in her acceptance speech, I want to continue to thank Amy Sherman Palladino and Dan Palladino. I will be thanking you guys for as long as I live. Next up was Best Director which went to Alfonso Cuaron for Roma, beating Damien Chazelle for First Man, Bradley Cooper for A Star Is Born, Peter Fairley for Green Book, Yorgos Lanthimos for The Favorite, Spike Lee for Black KK Klansman and Adam McKay for Vice. Alfonso quipped on stage, I have to be brief because actors are coming after me. They may need more time. Fresh from her Golden Globes win. Sandra O oh won Best Actress in a Drama Series for her role in BBC America's Killing Eve. Best Actor in a Drama Series went to Matthew Rhys for FX's The Americans. He was not present to accept the award. The Assassination of Gianni Versace, American Crime Story won Best Limited Series. Best Drama Series went to The Americans with some of the team behind the show accepting the award without the two absent stars Carrie Russell and Matthew Rhys. Best Comedy Series was awarded to The Marvelous Mrs. Misa with series creator Amy Sherman Palladino accepting the award surrounded by the cast.